We're here to see a wild-caught anaconda as it's undergoing treatment before being re-released into the wild. Anaconda is a little bit like birds of prey in that if they're hooded, they have their eyes obscured, they calm down dramatically, it makes them much easier to work with. The weight is 66 kilos. That's about the weight of an adult female human being. That is a very big snake. With the anaconda calm, the team are giving her an ultrasound to check for internal injuries. It's a rare chance to have a look inside a living snake. I've been studying snakes for most of my life. This is my first glance at a beating, working snake heart. The anaconda's internal organs can move around, allowing it to engulf huge prey. Once in its digestive tract, powerful acids and enzymes dissolve virtually the whole animal. It might not eat again for months. This snake has no internal injuries. It's a great chance to see how the scales move its massive bulk. All of them overlap, as you can see here, and point backwards. So that means it has much less friction as it moves along the ground or through the water. The underside of a snake can really help us to understand the locomotion of these snakes. So you can see the belly scales are very, very different in structure to those over the rest of the body. They are flat, broad, and they can be used to grip on and she can drive off from several portions of her body, propelling the snake forward. The anaconda's belly scales grip the ground, allowing the snake to pull itself along. It can also push itself in a classic serpentine movement. Snake locomotion evolved to allow snakes to occupy virtually every corner of the planet, from sidewinding across deserts to gliding through the air and many have taken to the water to swim. All the information that we have about anacondas comes from snakes that are in captivity and snakes that are on land. Very, very few people have seen them underwater. There is still so much to find out about green anacondas and, and there is a real possibility for us to find out some new things while we're here.